We use it every day, but how often do we actually think about it? Water is an essential part of our daily lives, necessary for all life on Earth. Yet fresh water is perhaps the one resource most people take for granted. Statistics show the average U.S. household uses more than 200 gallons of water per day, and most Americans are unaware of the urgent need to conserve this precious supply. One of the uh, great wonders of, an, of a growing economy, population growth, we need fresh water in just about everything. We need fresh water for agricultural production, we need fresh water for us just as regular consumers, and it's critically important that we keep this resource uh, vibrant and, uh, and available uh, across all sectors because all sectors need fresh water. 18% of the planet's surface fresh water supply lies right here in the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes, a collection of five freshwater lakes located on the U.S. and Canada border, represent an incredibly valuable natural resource, particularly in the state of Michigan. With more than 3,000 miles of shoreline, over 40% of Michigan's surface is covered with water. We're extremely fortunate to be on a Great Lake like Lake Michigan. In fact, of the five Great Lakes, it's the only one totally in the United States. And the state of Michigan touches four of the five Great Lakes. So we try not to take it for granted, but it is a big part of our life, our industry. We have an ab abundant supply of water, uh, starting with Lake Michigan. It's something we all enjoy. It's, it's critical to our everyday living. Uh, our livelihoods depend on it. Industry, agriculture, and tourism, recreational boating, it's all built around Lake Michigan. Because of the region's rich water status, most people remain complacent about water use and conservation. Recognizing the need to have a greater appreciation of this valuable resource is the driving force behind the Annis Water Resources Institute at Grand Valley State University. Since its founding over 20 years ago, the Institute has been at the forefront of critical water education and research projects throughout the region and country, and today is a nationally recognized education and research facility. The Annis Water Resources Institute was created in 1986 because really the identity of this region is focused around water. And the university, Grand Valley State, recognized the importance of water in this area. And um, we have continued to grow from a one-person operation. Now we have about 70 people at the Institute really focused on water. Historically, Muskegon has always been focused on the water, whether it was the lumber mills in the, in the mid-19th century, the industry in the mid-20th century, or now trying to look at novel ways to use water to grow our economy and to incentivize people to come here and take advantage of it. Here, at the Lake Michigan Center on Muskegon Lake, graduate students and undergraduate student interns work alongside the Institute's diverse faculty, researching major questions about the ecosystem structure and function, contaminants and toxicology, water quality, stream and wetland ecology, and land use. The graduate students at AWRI are focused on a, a suite of different projects, some of which include working on optimizing the performance of biosand filters, uh, which are uh, being deployed in, in different developing countries so that people can have a safe source of drinking water. Uh, we have students that are working on lake sturgeon, an iconic and threatened species here in the Great Lakes. We also have students working on bioindicators to figure out the condition of lakes as we restore them and, and identify whether they are are reaching the state that we want them to, or do they still need additional work that's going on? So the graduate students are involved in a whole suite of different problems, uh, ranging from chemical, physical, and biological status of aquatic resources. Featuring state-of-the-art research facilities, a full analytical chemistry laboratory, and a boat fleet that includes two research vessels, the Institute provides graduate students with unique opportunities to explore the aquatic sciences while promoting an interdisciplinary research environment. Well, the research too is varied. A couple of highlights include a project by our microbial ecologist, Dr. Bobby Bedanda, working on sinkholes in Lake Huron. He's finding these very unique uh, microbial mats at the bottom of these sinkholes which may be indicative of early life on Earth. So he's using it as a model system, and that's very exciting. Uh, we're very interested in, in trying to figure out what the lake sturgeon are doing here in Muskegon River. It's a critical habitat for them. Our fisheries biologist, Dr. Carl Reitz, is involved in, in looking at their growth, uh, reproduction, and figuring out how they survive in this very important system. 
Uh, our lab is very interested in stormwater runoff, one of the major sources of pollution now to our water bodies. And we're trying to look at uh, where it comes from and how we can uh, implement best management practices to reduce the amount of runoff uh, in these different types of systems. The Institute realizes that conserving water for the future means educating people today. That's why the community outreach programs are such an important part of the Institute's mission. In this floating classroom, students and adults get the chance to experience the work of scientists and participate in hands-on water quality sampling while scientific information from the Institute is integrated into the program. The Education Outreach Program is an amazing program because it allows students to have hands-on science aboard a working research vessel. We're able to give that experience to fourth grade and up. In terms of our classroom opportunities, we have an endowment-supported classroom through the Annis Educational Foundation. So we're able to supplement those experiences that students have on their cruises with a lot of hands-on science right there uh, at the Annis Water Resources Institute. The Education Outreach Program has many things to offer, not just um, people in the community, but um, classrooms as well. I've been bringing my eighth grade classes here for seven years, and they go out on the research vessels and do water quality testing and compare the water quality of both Muskegon Lake and Lake Michigan. Um, talk about human impact on our lake ecosystems. Um, and then they spend time in the classroom doing some hands-on assignments. And every year the kids are thrilled. They learn more about their area where they're living, what they're doing to the lakes, um, and what they can do to educate their own community on keeping their waterways healthy for the rest of their life. No matter where we live, we cannot take the resource of water for granted. The Annis Water Resources Institute understands that preservation and enhancement of freshwater resources can only be accomplished through the integration of knowledge, research, and outreach, and is committed to making it happen here and around the world. With 40 million people in this region, it's essential that we have a long-term plan and a long-term working plan for these lakes. They are, they are working lakes. They're treasures. We have industry on these lakes. We, we transport vast quantities of materials for steel making and other things. This is a wonderful mix of, of industrial, commercial beauty, the fishing industry. It's very important to ensure we keep the quality, that we keep these lakes clean and usable uh, so that we can keep this population dynamic and, and, and ideally growing in the years ahead. The Annis Water Resource Institute is bringing together science and community. They are a place where the people who are the non-scientists can come and teachers, those of us from business who have an interest in preserving quality of this region, a vibrant region. We all know about the Water Resource Institute and it gives us a chance to come together with people who are doing deep science. So whether it's the you know the new buoy system measuring temperature and gradients and water flows in the, in the lake or other scientific efforts uh, but also tying it to, to those of us who, who use the, the resources either for pleasure or for commercial reasons. Sustainability is clearly a critical element of what we do here. Uh, we've been fundamentally involved in a whole bunch of sustainability initiatives here in the greater Muskegon and West Michigan area. Uh, the Institute has a focus on sustainability. Uh, particularly our, our strength is on the environmental side of it, but we're interested in, in the triple bottom line, sustainability as it affects the environment, as it affects social justice and economic development. And we think water can really be at the hub of all of those activities. Well, some of the major trends that we're focused on for the future include climate change and figuring out what that means for our water resources, both in terms of quantity and quality of water. We spend a lot of time with our students, whether it's K through 12 or our graduate students or our undergraduate students, uh, they're our future. And so we want them to understand what it means to be good stewards of our water resources and uh, in the hope that they will help to sustain them in the future. But we also have different programs that are focused on sustainability. Here at the Institute, we believe in walking the walk. And if you walk around the Institute, you'll see that on site, we try and control all of our runoff. Uh, we have green roofs, we have rain gardens. Uh, these are all elements of sustainability as it affects West Michigan and as it affects the Great Lakes as a whole. 
To find out more about Annis Water Resources Institute at Grand Valley State University, please visit www.gvsu.edu forward slash WRI.